Introducing Custom Fields, the newest addition to our PosiSoft desktop software. Custom Fields allows users to create user-defined fields for use in job and batch reports. Easily import existing PDF forms and overlay custom fields for automatic population of measurement data into your existing inspection reports. In this video, we will step through the creation of a simple daily inspection report containing custom fields relating to environmental, surface profile, and coating thickness measurement data. Let's get started. Custom fields are associated with report templates. So we'll begin by creating a new report template. Enter a name, daily inspection report. Custom fields are created within the custom fields designer. Two field designers are available, each with a similar look and feel. A job custom fields designer and a batch custom fields designer. Job custom fields appear within job reports and are ideal for including data from multiple batches or instrument types into a single form. Batch custom fields display at the beginning of each batch in the report. They are specific to each individual batch and ideal for summarizing batch information. Since our daily inspection report will contain information from multiple instrument types, we will use the Job Custom Fields Designer. The Custom Fields Designer consists of a field list and a workspace. Let's start by importing a sample daily inspection form onto the workspace. This form will become the background and we will overlay custom fields. Any PDF document can be imported and displayed as a background. Now is a good time to save our new report template. Maximize the designer window and use the zoom slider to increase the size of the workspace. This will help with the positioning of our custom fields as they are added to the workspace. We'll start by inserting text boxes. Text boxes are useful as they allow user input. Highlight the text field, then insert it into the workspace by clicking and dragging in the desired area. We will repeat this for each area in the report that requires user input. To reposition a field, simply click and drag it within the workspace. To resize, click the lower right hand corner of the field and drag. Next, we'll include some checkboxes. Now we'll include some fields related to measurement data. Measurement fields are listed by instrument type within the probe-specific fields drop-down. Some types, such as the Positector DPM, have multiple available fields, one for each measured parameter. Select DPM TA from the instrument-specific fields drop-down menu. We will now populate the environmental section. Select reading one time and place it in the workspace. Repeat for reading time two and three. Now let's look at selected cell box for reading time one. Instrument specific fields use a special syntax language for displaying measurement data. Let's break down the syntax. The time function displays the time. The contained measurement was taken. B1 represents the batch sort order. This does not correspond to the batch name. Instead, it corresponds to the batch sort order within the job batch list. In this case, readings from the first batch for each selected instrument type will be populated. R1 displays reading one. TA identifies the parameter. In this case, air temperature. See the PosiSoft help file to learn more about batch order and the syntax language. Now, let's continue adding our environmental fields. Air temperature, relative humidity, surface temperature, dew point temperature, and the serial number for the PosiTector DPM Pro. For surface profile, we will include the batch maximum, batch average, and serial number fields for the Positector SPG Pro. Now for coating thickness, we'll include the batch average and standard deviation fields. 
click OK to save the new custom fields form and return to the Report Configuration options. By default, custom fields are selected for inclusion for the job and all instrument types. Simply uncheck custom fields to exclude from reports. For our daily inspection report, we only want to include our new job form and associated custom fields. To accomplish this, we will select only the custom fields option for the job. Select save and refresh to save the report configuration. Click OK to close the window. Now let's enter information into our Job Custom Fields text and checkboxes. Right-click on the job and select Enter Job Custom Fields. Our new custom field form will display. Enter the project name. Let's also select the applicable checkboxes for our inspection. Click OK to save the changes and close the window. The report will automatically refresh with the project name and our selected checkboxes. For more detailed information, view the Custom Fields section in the PosiSoft Desktop Help File or visit defelsco.com forward slash PosiSoft.